What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Blink Quattro from Acton. This is the brand new board from Acton and it's the fastest, most powerful, and most expensive board from Acton since they started doing electric longboards. So of course, I wanted to test this thing out and I took it out and I was pretty surprised of how good this board actually is. First, let's talk about specs. So it has a top speed of 23 miles per hour. That's what's listed on the website. And I took it out for the very first time and I had perfect ideal conditions, completely smooth surface, no wind whatsoever. And I actually hit 25 miles per hour several times. Now that was with a full battery charge. And later on, as I continued to ride, I never got past you know the actual 23 mile per hour mark. So I was probably hitting around 21 to 23 miles per hour when I was full throttle the entire time while I was riding. Next, let's talk about weight. This thing is stupid heavy, insanely heavy. I mean, it's like dragging around a dead body with you if you have to carry the thing. Not that I've ever done that, ever. Literally never have I done that. But I would just assume this kind of like that a little bit. Okay, maybe it's not that bad, but I weighed myself and then I picked up the board and this thing weighs 25 and a half pounds. It's, it's a monster. And you can probably attribute some of that weight to the build quality of the board, which is actually really good. So one of the main selling points of this board is that it is a four x four board. That means it's got four wheel drive and it has a hub motor inside every single wheel. So this is gonna make climbing up hills if you live in a really hilly area, insanely easy. But let's take it back outside and see what that four wheel drive can do. All right, so like I said, this is a four wheel drive board. It has street wheels, but of course, I'm gonna take it off road. Let's see how well it can do up against this massive green hill right here. Let's check it out. make it up but it didn't go very quick albeit it wasn't that fun and it did struggle a little bit it still made it to the top so this thing is gonna be really helpful for people you know that live in really hilly areas I unfortunately live in Texas I don't have a lot of massive hills to climb or to try this board on I do have this hill and hills never look as steep as they do when you're on camera but this thing is actually pretty steep so I'll give it a shot and let's just see how it goes now I nearly bust it going up this hill, but I was trying to go as fast as possible just in case there was some slowdown as I went up the hill. And you can see here that the board just absolutely destroyed it. So next let's talk about the deck. So it's 39 inches, which is pretty long. And again, it's carbon fiber and aluminum. So since we're dealing with carbon fiber and aluminum, we're not gonna get any flex in the board whatsoever. So this can go either way. You either like flex in your board or you don't like flex in your board. If you like flex in your board, you're not gonna like this deck. If you don't like flexing your board, you're gonna love this deck. So my preference is a bamboo deck. A bamboo deck and it's I'm, I'm happy. Just because it makes going over bumps a whole lot easier. It's not quite as jarring when you hit cracks or crevices in sidewalk or rocks or anything like that. But if you're on a carbon fiber board that's insanely sturdy, you're gonna feel every single bump, nook and cranny that you hit. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm a huge fan of all-terrain wheels. So my perfect electric longboard has all-terrain wheels and a bamboo deck because it makes for the most smooth ride. You're not gonna notice any bumps. If you hit any rocks, you're barely gonna feel it. It's just a whole lot more comfortable when you're just riding around and cruising around. But the wheels on this board is obviously street wheels. So if you're into street wheels, you're probably gonna like these wheels. If you want the all-terrain, there's unfortunately not a way to substitute or change out the hub motors in the wheels that come with the board into an all-terrain board, unless you do some custom engineering on your part. So I feel like that's a huge downside for me. Even if the decks wasn't flexible like a bamboo deck, but I could get all-terrain tires on it, that would be huge for me. I would love to do that. Now again, I understand a lot of people don't like that and people want no flex in the board and they want street wheels. And this is the board for you if you like that. But in terms of price, this thing is not cheap. It's actually a little bit more expensive than the extended range boosted board. But if you use the link in the description below, you'll get $20 off anything in the store. And if you pick up a Blink Quattro, enter the code iTweaks into the discount code and you'll save 169 bucks off this board. Now this is an exclusive 4th of July sale that they have going on right now. So the code is only good until July 15th at midnight. So if you're interested in this board, I definitely recommend going through that link. Now let's talk about carving on this thing, actually writing it. And I have to say, I like the carving on this thing a whole lot more than I do 
on the boosted board. It just feels a whole lot better. It feels like you can hug those turns just a little bit more. Now, I know you can loosen up the trucks and get a little bit more action, but this right out of the box, it just feels a whole lot better than the boosted board. Now, when I'm comparing the Blink Quattro to the boosted board in terms of wheels, I would have to say that I like the wheels on the boosted board better. Now, of course, the boosted board that I'm comparing it to is a custom boosted board, which I actually did a video on. If you guys want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description below. So the wheels are a little bit different than what you get normally. They're both orangutan wheels. I think the orange ones are a little bit sticky or a little bit grippier than the purple ones that I have right here. But both of these wheels are grippier than what you're going to get on the Blink Quattro. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just a matter of preference. So with the Blink Quattro, you're actually going to slide just a little bit more because you're able to carve harder and you can pretty much whip that thing around and power slide if you know how to do it. So that's something that I've always wanted to learn how to do and I just haven't done it. So once I get some elbow pads and some knee pads and maybe a better helmet, I'll actually try to do the power slide and I'm gonna try to learn on the Blink Quattro. Now something I like on the Quattro better than I like on any other board that I've ever ridden is the acceleration and braking. I think it is absolutely awesome. And I think most of that acceleration or why I like the acceleration so much is because of those hub motors in every single wheel. Just because when you hit that throttle, it's propelling every single wheel, which makes for an incredibly smooth acceleration. And it's not jerky, it's not gonna throw you off if you just full throttle it, which is something that would definitely happen if you do something like that on the Evolve GTX board or even sometimes on the boosted board. Same thing goes for braking. Braking is incredibly smooth. I really can't ask for better braking or acceleration on this thing. It's really nice. The max rider weight for this board is 280 pounds. So all you hefty mother suckers out there that want to ride an electric longboard, this guy is going to hold you up pretty good. When you got a board that's 25 and a half pounds, it can support a whole lot more weight. Now, of course, it has regenerative braking, which basically recharges your battery every time that you uh, hit the brakes on the board, as well as being able to climb 30% grade hills. And something that I really like about acting boards is the ability to turn on the lights on your board. So when you're going night riding, it just looks really cool. It's actually very practical, makes a lot of sense. So you don't have to go through third parties to get light strips or anything like that and rig it onto your board or anything. You literally just have in your app, you press a button and it turns on the lights and then you're good to go. So for my final thoughts on this board, I would have to say that I probably wouldn't buy this board at full price. Now, if you're going through the link and you're getting $275 off, that makes things a little bit easier to swallow with the specs that are on this board. One, it's just it's just really heavy. It's 25 and a half pounds. So if you got to, you know, ride this up to the bus station and then carry it onto the bus, it's just kind of a pain. The nice thing about it is, is that it's really easy to pump on this board. So even if your battery dies and you're pumping on it, it's going to be literally no issue whatsoever. It's definitely easier to kick than like a boosted board or the GTX for that matter. One thing I didn't mention that is very important is the range on this thing. So on all websites for all electric longboards, they basically state the maximum range. They don't state the average range that you're going to get on a board. It's the maximum range. So with this board on the website, it says 22 mile range. But if you're in the fastest mode, you should never expect to get the range that's listed on a website. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. With all the boards that I've ever tested, I've never gotten the actual range. So with this one, I was getting 14 miles, which is still good when I was going full throttle on the fastest mode that this board has. I mean, comparing that to boosted board, I'm supposed to get around seven miles on my boosted board and I would get like four. So the extended range is supposed to be 14 miles. So I'd probably get around eight or nine miles on the boosted board. So always keep that in mind. If a board is like right in the range of what you need it to be, you need to be making sure that you're riding in eco mode and you're not riding in something that's gonna, you know, consume more juice, which will in turn reduce your range. Next, I really, really wish that they would have some all-terrain wheels. All-terrain wheels with a bamboo deck, give me that. That's what makes me happy. But if you're looking for a murdered out board with four wheel drive, 23 mile an hour top speed, can climb paved hills like crazy, and you're all about the street wheels, then you should definitely check this board out. I would definitely recommend it. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. Of course, if you guys want to stay up to date with all the tech that I want to cover on this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video.